Hey everyone, so I just went to pick up groceries. It's actually quite dead. I thought there'd be a bit more people because it is a Sunday. Um, but yeah, everything, it's just, it's honestly like, it's, it's like a movie, like no one is here practically, apart from one or two cards. It's kind of eerie in a way. Um, the thing, yeah, that they keep doing is putting, I hate this hand sanitizer thing. Like everywhere you go, you got to put on hand sanitizer. I know the need for it, but yeah, it doesn't do wonders for my hands. So day three of the lockdown comes to an end. Today I try to keep to a routine. So I, uh, when, you know, I exercise, can't go to the gym. So I do like, do some like, the, you know, dancing and stuff. Um, so my tutor online, I do that anyway. It's not something new because of the coronavirus. And I went out shopping today. Um, I was, the Woolworths by went to was actually closed. So I had to go to another one, but I was surprised. Most of the stuff was actually in stock. The only thing that was surprisingly bare was where they have the eggs. So I had to get a small six pack of eggs. So yeah, I don't know why people are panic buying. We still will have food in this country and toilet paper. Like if you're stuck at home, like you can shower. Like why do you need to stockpile toilet paper? That makes no sense. But anyway, that being said, um, it's just eerie to drive around Joburg and see everything, well, the places where I live and see it's so quiet and all the restaurants closed. It's sad for me to like look on the news and see places like Berlin where it's all like deserted and quiet and Italy. I mean, I went, I've been to, I traveled through Italy. Um, I even saw a restaurant that I actually ate at being closed. It was, it was sad to see that. So, um, yeah. But anyway, we just have to keep calm and carry on. That's the only thing we can do. Um, speaking of this, I think I want to speak about like mental health. I think this is also an important thing, uh, specifically for obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. I've suffered from that since probably about 10 or 11 years old, um, a fear of contamination. So like I would excessively wash my hands, would like have rituals when dealing with cleaning chemicals and stuff was always like worried I'd catch some terrible disease. So fortunately I've had therapy and I've had treatment for this. So that has been greatly reduced. I don't generally feel like that, but for people who suffer badly from it or still undergoing treatment, it is quite bad. And even for me, it's because part of the treatment is, is, is trying to reverse those things and realizing, you know, outside of a pandemic, you know, you don't need to, you need to, you, you know, that you, you don't need to excessively wash your hands. And, and this kind of thing, going to places like the supermarket, they've got sanitizer and wiping down things. This is, this is like classic OCD stuff. So you need to be sympathetic to people who are suffering from this, because as I said, it's like basically everything, it kind of like, this kind of rewards your OCD, kind of legitimizes it and you kind of like, Part of the therapy is like exposing yourself to like touching stuff that would you think was dirty so that you desensitize yourself and you overcome the obsessions and now people have been told that's not the case. So yeah, just spare a thought for people who have OCD or suffer from it and what they're going through. If you do have OCD, I mean, the, the main thing is to realize, you know, like kind of a reasonable man thing, realize when you're washing your hands more than enough, like if you're going to the toilet or you're going out and you've touched stuff, then it's reasonable. But really not more than like if you, every time you touch something, you need to open it with like a tissue or something, then yeah, that probably is a bit excessive. So just bear that in mind. Um, in terms of mental health in general, I think it's important to like keep a routine. Like it's easy like, oh, I mean, you're at home sitting in your pajamas all day, but that's, that's really bad for you. Like keep a routine, keep a schedule of, you know, you know, try and as much live out your normal day as possible, get dressed, get changed, showered, exercise, and, and do all of those things. Try, if you don't like, you know, I'm studying at the moment, so I have stuff to do. But if you don't have, find a hobby, find something new to learn, you know, maybe watch a series or something, but don't sit around and be idle. Don't, watch the news, keep informed about what's happening about the, this pandemic, but don't obsessively watch it, like, you know, 24 hour news channels, they tend to recycle information and it just has a very negative effect on your mental health. 
So keep informed, but don't keep inundated. Um, I know people have like WhatsApp groups and stuff for to keep company, but that can also be probably make you anxious. So if it's upsetting you, then rather just minimize it, turn off the notifications, look at it, you know, like schedule almost the times when you look at stuff about the coronavirus, if it's winding you up, because being stuck in a flat or in your house the whole day can be probably a bit depressing. But really it's sad, just keep active, try keep busy, try keep exercising, try distract yourself and find something interesting and, and nice to do that you don't have to think about this. And Hopefully the world can go back to a state of normal well-being. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I can say. Um, but yeah, I don't. I think yeah, I, I don't know. I I have to try and keep myself sane throughout this whole thing. But you know, you you just have to keep going. That's really all it is. Um, but yeah, I don't else know what else. You. The thing that does piss me off is because I live in an apartment building and now because every, everyone is like forced to stay inside, you hear all your neighbours and I'm quite you know, very short fused at the best of times, so this does not <laughs> bode well for me. Um, but yeah, nothing really else interesting to say. Although, fun fact, I did have sex on this couch a couple of weeks ago. Just, you know, kind of brightened the day. You probably won't think of anything else, but yeah. So anyway... Um, hope you are staying safe, keeping your social distance, um, and I will see you next time, so bye-bye.